What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk about Wizard 101 as a whole and the way that I see Wiz going in the future. And the way that I see Wiz going right now is pretty anti-casual, which means that Wiz has changed from the game that we know and love to a really try-hard game that you are going to have to put a lot of time and effort into if you want to max out your wizard and have the best gear in the game. I know a lot of people are really frustrated with Wizard 101 and the way that things are going because it's completely completely new and a lot of people just want to come on and play the game that they know and love, farm for the gear, have some fun with their friends, and then get off the game. But Wizard 101's recent updates have shown us that they definitely do not want to continue Wizard 101 this way. They want to make things more challenging and make us learn different mechanics that we have never tried before. And I know that this can make a lot of people upset, so I just wanted to talk about why I believe that Wiz is changing to be an anti-casual player game. So the the first thing that I want to talk about and probably the most prominent thing on everyone's minds right now is the Nightmare Dungeon itself. Now the Nightmare Dungeon is what you farm if you want to get your level 170 hats, robes, boots, and wand. And if you do not already know, the Nightmare Dungeon is easily the hardest dungeon that Wizard 101 has ever created outside of a raid. And for them to lock the main PvE gear inside the most difficult dungeon in the game makes me really scared for what the future is going to look like for gear farming in Wiz. Now, I know that you can play devil's advocate here and say, well, oh, Valerie, the people that are having a hard time farming in the Nightmare Dungeon can just farm standard mode now. Well, if you watch my video from the other day, you will see that standard mode is not necessarily easier than challenge mode. And in my personal opinion, I feel that standard mode is actually harder than challenge mode solely because you cannot use gambits in PvE. You can only use them for advanced content, which long story short makes the fights way longer and you are more likely to have something happen to you rather than just killing as fast as you can. And this is not even talking about the maze. The maze itself it brings up a whole other issue. The main one being that people are really frustrated with how the broken dreams are and that broken dreams are even in standard mode to begin with as the broken dreams are easily the most frustrating part of the maze and that's what people get stuck on. I've heard from a lot of people that use team up for the nightmare dungeon which is by the way what a lot of casual players use. Even I use team up for farming for Aeon gear, for example. So using team up for a dungeon to farm for your main set of PvE gear is what the casual player base in this game does. And from what I've heard from people that do the team up is that you'll have people get stuck on the broken wisps, get frustrated, and then just end up leaving the dungeon. And then you have to just reset at that point. And having to do all of this for just your main set of PvE gear is honestly so frustrating. And it honestly seems like King's Isle is trying to gatekeep the level 170 gear from people. And I would understand if it was raid gear. Raids are supposed to be challenging, but in return you get really good gear at the end of it. But this is not raid gear. This is your normal level 170 PvE set that they are essentially gatekeeping behind this dungeon. A lot of people are really upset with this dungeon and have voiced their opinion to King's Isle. But from what I can tell, nothing is going to change about this dungeon. Standard mode is out and I really don't see them taking out the broken dreams or changing the fights or anything like that. I think what we have is what we are going to get and we are just going to have to learn how to adapt. Now the second thing that I wanted to talk about with Wizard 101 it being anti-casual is crowns gear. Really the main point that I want to make here is that Wiz really needs to make a free-to-play option with a lot of the gear that they release. A lot of casual players do not have money to basically gamble for gear from packs and would rather just farm for their gear in their spare time for example. Like I always say, I'm not a PvP player at all, but one piece of gear that I remember being extremely pay to win that came out was the motorist robe. Because when that piece of gear came out, there was no free to play alternative for PvP players to get. So if you wanted to do PvP at the time, you essentially had to gamble for this robe from a pack. And now you can either get really lucky and get gear from packs, or you can be really unlucky. So I wish that Wizard 101 would add a free to play option for more casual players to be able to get the new gear like the new pack gear that they just released. I know that on a KI Live a couple weeks ago, they teased some really cute gear that is going to be coming out in June. That is going to be pack gear, obviously. And I am really looking forward to be able to get that gear. But obviously, if I want to get that gear, I know that I'm going to have to pay money in order to get crowns so that 
I can gamble in a pack to hopefully get the gear that I want. I really do wish that Wiz would implement a way for people who do not want to pay money for the game, who are just playing this game casually off of their membership to be able to get their gear as well. I don't know, maybe they could put certain pieces of gear in a gauntlet or something for you to farm. I'm really not too sure what they would do, but having an option there would at least be better than absolutely nothing. And we're seeing this more and more with the new pack gear that they release. Obviously, with the new Wastelander pack that they released, if you do not want to farm for any gear and you just want an Aeon upgrade from a pack, you can just get the new Wastelander pack, which essentially is a pay to win way to get some of the best new PvE gear in the game. The next topic that I wanted to bring up that really makes this game anti-casual players is the pet making system in a Wiz. I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about the pet making system, but in my opinion, if you are a casual new player coming into Wiz, having to make a pet is extremely difficult, solely based off of the hatch prices and the inability to re-roll the talents that you get from pet training and the amount of money that it costs. Not only do you have to get hundreds of thousands of gold in the game, but you also have to get hatching elixirs and Perot's potions. And once again, it essentially is just gambling to get the pet stats that you want on a pet. So I really wish that Wiz would at least allow us to re-roll talents that we get on our pets if it's bad and lower the hatch prices because I feel so bad for newer players who are having to make pets in Wiz right now because the hatch prices are so high. Also, another thing that Wiz has been doing more and more recently is making exclusive pets. For example, they will release this super cute pet in the crown shop, but you will not be able to hatch with your friends in order to get the pet body. The only way that you are able to get the pet is by buying it. And they definitely do not come at a cheap price either. I believe that the New Year's pet this year was 10,000 crowns. So essentially, it's like spending $20 to get an exclusive pet in Wiz that does not even give you a stat bonus. I would understand making a pet exclusive like the Raid pet, where you have to complete something in order to get the pet if it has a really good item card, for example. But the pets in the crown shop usually do not have good item cards, and they are usually just for aesthetics. So I really hope that Wiz does not continue the trend with releasing exclusive pets for only crowns, and that they make hatching prices cheaper, and even just give us the ability to re-roll for pet talents so that making pets would be less frustrating and more accessible for newer players. The next anti-casual point that I want to make is the spellbook itself that we have in Wiz. As you know, with the release of the Nightmare Dungeon and Challenge Mode, we were forced to do advanced combat for the first time ever if you are a sole PvE player that does not do raids, and having to read how to set up a gambit is not an easy task. There's symbols here that we are not used to and are really not user-friendly to understand. I made a meme on Twitter about me trying to understand Wizard 101 mechanics and it blew up, and a bunch of people in the comments were agreeing with the fact that even the spell cards that we get are confusing. And even I'm confused with the symbols that are on certain spells. And I've played this game for a decently long time now at this point. I can only imagine how a brand new player feels having to learn all of this stuff at once. Now, I know that you can say that we don't have to do advanced content until later in the game, but even then, if you're wanting to get your level 170 gear efficiently right now, you are going to have to be farming challenge mode nightmare, which means that you are going to have to become familiar with advanced content, even though it is something that casual PvE players have not had to use before. So I really wish that they would introduce advanced content to us earlier so that we could get familiar with it instead of it just being the only option to farm your max level gear efficiently out of the blue. But just a simple explanation in game of what advanced content is and how it works would be super helpful. But yeah, all in all, I really hope that Wiz figures out the direction that they want to go because at the end of the day, right now, Wizard World 1 is a children's card game rated E for everyone. And with the current state of Wiz, I cannot see many children maxing a wizard and being able to do the end game content. So I really hope that they remember their roots and make sure that they make this game accessible and exclusive to all of their players and not just the try hard whiz heads or content creators. I've always been a firm believer that the mass majority of whiz's players is a casual PvE player and that is who the game should be catered towards because you cater the game towards the majority, not the minority. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts about whether or not whiz is becoming an 
anti-casual game or if you believe that the direction that it is going is in a good one. I would love to know what you have to think, so leave it in a comment down below and I would love to talk with you guys. And as always, if you are looking for a Wizard 101 community to be a part of, make sure to join my Discord server. I will have it linked down below and I would love to chat and hang out with you guys. But yeah, that is going to be it for me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.